the room was filled. Then I began to hear a sound from the ceiling from the right side of the room. And I was filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. The Bible says that the disciples on the day of Pentecost, they were all in one place in one accord, and suddenly there was from heaven a mighty rushing wind that filled all of the house where they were sitting, and cloven tongues appeared, and they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave others. You, you don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody, is there a witness in the house? Or you can live the natural, but I'm talking about the spiritual. I'm talking about the gift that she gave to me. What did she give you? What gift did she give you? The Bible says in Acts 2 and 38, and she would quote this over and over and over again because she wanted her children to live a sanctified life. Yes, Come on, somebody. Yes, she witnessed to everybody. Well, in Acts yes. 2 and 38, it says, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy, I don't say ghost, but I'm going to say it today. The gift of the Holy Ghost. Watch this. This is this is the promise that she wanted you to have. But the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord shall call. Shirley was a prophet. She was an evangelist. She was a spokesman of God and she was relentless in preaching that word to everybody. It didn't matter who you were. Now let me tell you something. I've been in the presence of two sitting presidents of the United States. I've been in the presence of governors of California, assemblymen of California, mayors, supervisors of the county, and councilmen and women, but nobody could give me a gift like Shirley did. I've been in the presence of celebrities of Hollywood, but nobody could give me a gift like Shirley. The gift of leading me to the true and living God. She interrupted my life. I was a rock star. I'm living in Hollywood. I'm doing, she interrupted my life. The power of God was on Shirley and Mickey, and they would minister the word of God, and they were anointed by God. Oh, nobody knows what I'm talking about. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She changed my trajectory from going down to going up. I have been saved for 42 years. They ministered to me when I was 23 years old. And I'm here to tell you, God is good. Oh, you're not answering me. God is good. And all the time, somebody know what I'm talking about. I became a witness for the glory of God. What gift did she give you? She was God's child. There's people here with memories, but I want you to know that God's mercy, God's grace, God's love is the power, the most powerful forces in the earth realm. And she understood that. So lift up your heads. Hallelujah. Lift, there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ. She lift up your head. And her only desire is that you would live Amen. for Jesus. Yes. That doesn't mean perfect. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. That doesn't mean that you lose your humanness. Amen. But it means that you put God first. Yes. And God does the rest yes. through his mercy and his grace. Come on, somebody, to pick you up every time you fall. Bible says a righteous man or a righteous, righteous woman will fall seven times, but uh -huh. the Lord is there yeah. to pick them up. Yeah.